Got my Jack Sparrow boots on and my top inside out. <laughs> oh, is he? Oh. Happy New Year! It is the 4th of January and it's back on the van. And today we're back to Jushin's to get more wood because we're doing a shoddy job and need a rethink. We're properly going to finish the floor today. It's going to be done. But we've got to get some more structural uh, words. Structural. Uh, structural underlay. We're just adding more battens. Right, so what I've done is cut out uh, these sort of bespoke size battens, which are the same size uh, or same depth as the ones we've used in the floor. Right, so that's my batten now. And to the left of it, you can see I've traced around the shape of it. So what I'm going to do now, take the blade, cut that out, and sink the batten into there so that it is the same height as the ones either side of it. So the floor, in theory, will be level and perfect. Right, so once we've ripped up our existing insulation, this is what we're left with. Uh, we've essentially cut out graves for our battens. <laughs> and in theory, that should do the trick, hopefully. Although Meg did try to use the spirit level and uh, forgot that we are not parked on a flat surface, so it didn't, re didn't can really... We, can we do this again? Because I don't like the way we use graves. Can't we say trenches? <laughs> Far have you gone with it? Right, well, what's, where are we at now? We've done it! Not all of it, I'm lying. We've managed to make it all pretty stable by adding more batons. Yeah. Before we were very concerned that this might be, because we don't know quite where the bed's gonna go and how far it's gonna, I know it's gonna pull out over it, but structurally, the floor, we could really do without it moving. So we've added more batons, which has been difficult because of the way of the floor. It's like got divots in. So now, there's no budging, there's no moving. So now we have to glue the extra batons in place. Yeah? Yeah. Then let that dry for as long as you can and get this finally screwed down. So now we start the technical job of working out where the battens are in relation to the floor. So what we're going to do is create a sort of uh, pen and paper map of where the battens are lying so we can drill through the ply and hopefully hit the target. A little bit of room for manoeuvre. Feeling uh, confident about this, are we? Reasonable, but I think it might be a high nuts and bolts job. Yeah. Just Especially if we get it wrong. Yeah, we're not going to. It'd be just the technicality of getting it all right. Um, it should be fine. I'm not worried about this bit. Just need to crack on because it's getting dark. It's getting late. We've not. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> We've now finally got the floor in its final resting place. I think all the battens underneath have made it really secure. So now it's a case of drilling. There we go. Cordless drill, which hopefully will last. We've got a map of the bands underneath that we're going to screw high floor onto. Um, we're going to do this big piece at the front first, pop these two out and do these by eye rather than using the map. Like do you want to see the map? Should I come around and scoot around for the map? That's the map. If you can understand it, you're better than I am and I drew it. <laughs> you're in focus now but you weren't a minute ago, is that a problem? Is it? No. I'm not going to win any awards. Bloody better. Finish? Aye. <laughs> I hope it's gone into the wood. Quite a satisfying job. Is it not when you've wrapped your head around it? Yeah. It's a daunting job of being such novices like we are. But actually, when you see it coming together, this is probably the most substantial thing we've done uh, to see, you know, immediate results. Because the insulation now is all hidden; it's all invisible work. I don't know how long, much longer Granddad's drill's gonna last, though. Is it personal? No. 
Let me get close up. No, not yet! Not yet! Not yet! Not yet! <sighs> I'm gonna speak. Okay. Ready? Yeah. This is one of the mega areas we need to concentrate on. Important areas, not mega areas. Because it joins here and all three. So we're trying to get it a nice tight fit. You do realise when you spoke over top of the drill that isn't going to come through. Can't edit that out. Can't edit you, sweetheart. <laughs> My feet are cold, hurry up! Hi there. Uh, we've just successfully put our 12mm ply floor down. Yes, we did. Uh, we needed nuts and bolt rating on that difficulty. Accomplishment feels good today to actually get it done. Nuts and bolts before we did it, eight. What do you mean before we did it? Before we actually did it, when I was th just thinking about doing yeah. it. Yeah, that's been the case with a lot of these things. The thought is worse than the actual dump, jumping in the deep end and just doing it. So the um, thought was probably an eight. Doing it, a six and a half, seven. <laughs> so not much different. It was worrying about the map, but then we were worried that it was going to go through into nothing, but then it actually wasn't that bad if it did go into nothing. One of my videos, which I've never really done one before, is that I'll be making the thermal curtain to go in it as well, so they're yeah. upcoming videos. We'll have a thermal curtain instead of bulkhead, we've probably discussed that at some point before. But yeah, we've got loads of little bits and bobs to get on with and then we'll start probably thinking about carpeting the walls and what we want to do. But that's it for tonight, I think. Um, Say, done. We've talked enough for the last 10 minutes, that's it, done. Yeah, Good. but I'm going to edit it all out and there'll be nothing. Good night, darling. That's it, done. Stop, press the button. Press it.